Tommy this week and what you guys expect of coming into the season? Yeah, no question. And, and whether it be the fall exhibitions we had or, you know, other moments where he's he's been 100% or just into it, I mean, obviously, at get into a rhythm playing, he's been extraordinary over there. And yeah, some of those other guys just flat out don't make. But the, the best part about it was the high level of consistency uh, because he got so many repetitions today, in particular with Beam and Halby just kind of locating the way they did. What impresses you most about like his IQ and field awareness? Um, you, you know, you, you would like to be able to teach like internal clock, how long, you know, before the guy gets there and also a first step on a ball, but um, you, you really can't. I mean, you can make suggestions. So he's, he's really gifted. And, and to be honest with you, I've said this about a few guys and I've, I've been fairly correct. The guys that we've had here, um, he's a long way from being as good as he can be. Um, getting healthy, uh, we give him some trouble about putting on weight and he's done that with Coach Q, but he's a long way away from what he needs to be uh, to make it to the big leagues as far as weight and strength goes. Um, always making adjustments offensively. So his best days are well ahead of him and we'll look forward to his best days while on our campus still uh, being ahead of him as well. You talked about how Christian's suspension would give someone else an opportunity. Yeah. We saw that with Jake uh, starting that five run second inning. Just what'd you see from him today? Yeah, I mean, get excited. Our guys were tension free, um, you, you know, maybe in part because of it. And, and um, Jake got, went out there and uh, they were just talking back in the locker room. I didn't see this, but kind of looked out of his normal element in pregame, maybe a little nervous before the game. But when the game starts, you just play. And uh, dang, this far into the year, as much time as these guys have put in in the weight room and every, everywhere else out here, you got to be excited just to be out there and, and bounce around. And that's what he did. And uh, he helped us defensively as much as anything, uh, but goes without saying that that deal there uh, where he hit that ball to left field and, and started that inning really uh, was pretty dang big. How many of you guys have known, obviously, what this team's capable of? How important was it to get the results this weekend to kind of validate it for your, your, yourself and see it in action? Yeah, this is a very sincere answer. Uh, you, you know, we, we need to understand the goal is to win series and, and then accomplish that or find a way to execute it. But in, in, again, in all sincerity, I don't know how to say it without like, I'm trying to you know, sell you on something. It was way more important for our guys to find who they are. And I don't know if it was the series or the, the loss to Tennessee Tech or just we're deep enough into the year or maybe one of the guys said something, but that was a fun group to be around the last few days and uh, a totally different group. And I would have said that to you regardless of how today's game went for sure. Um, and then even Friday was different. Uh, day two, they, they kind of built upon what they had been doing. Just, just personality, conversations, comments. Some of them maybe need to go away a little bit, but you know, they're trying to be creative. Uh, they, they got me doing some show they came up with. I don't know, it starts with a P. I don't know what show it is that they've made up in their own minds. Maybe they want to be the media, but it's, that's baseball. Be, be, be who you are. And, and so us finding out who we are it was a bigger thing. So who are you? Uh, I, I think a team that plays loose and is capable of a lot of things, um, but, but a team that needs to kind of make up their own mind what they're going to do at the park every day, what they're capable of, and, and, and not put too much value on anything else. Because anything else is always going to be there. It's not just our team. I know I've been crying about that a little bit. But this is SEC baseball. You're going to have more media, more fans, better facilities, more attention, all kinds of chatter. Fans are going to go back and forth at each other on Twitter. So that ain't going anywhere. But you don't have to put value on it. And I think when you're investing more time in coming up with a goofy show or having your guys back or putting in extra work or things like that, you don't have time for anything else. Um, so again, I, I think it's a fun group to be around that is a dangerous group when they're playing their best. Uh, and we can leave it at that for now. What was different for Drew Beam today, considering how his Arkansas outing went? Yeah, I, I think, now he's been pretty consistent. That, that was an outlier of an outing and Arkansas did a good job against him. Um, you know, whatever reason, it just was it was a little dicey last weekend for him. So you figured he'd come back with a little extra determination. But like last year, he kind of always seems to be smelling blood a little bit when he's got an opportunity to finish a series in, in this fashion. Um, but overall, I mean, he the, to me, watching him pitch, I'll go back and watch the video. I think looking at his stat line, he's better than the stat line said. So as good as he was, I, I think he was even better. Good. Phil Burns is going to take off in this bullpen role. How 
kind of has two outing this weekend with what he did. I know he pitched out of his bullpen in Arkansas as well. But yeah, he's he pitched well at Arkansas. He it'd be kind of hard to argue with it if you're watching that game and and then just his you know behavior. It wasn't a plan to use him on Friday, and again, kind of said you want this thing and. And his eyes lit up, and he did what, what was ever asked. And to me, I didn't have any interest in putting him on the available list today, unless he went to one of our other guys, and and he went to Richard and, and Frank and said he can get us one or two innings. And uh, for a while there, it didn't look like, you know, we would use him. But um, you look smart anytime you use him, especially the way that that ninth inning went. Hey, Combsy, really emotional out. I mean, their best hitter on paper. Uh, our most dangerous hitter on paper. And after kind of a quirky deal too, where I guess he, you know, noticed the shot clock, uh, all that stuff, but that, that was that was pretty good. So could have ran him back out there too. It, it's nice to know that he's he's turned into what he can be on the mound because Frank is awfully high on him. You mentioned Maui individually, but what does his play this weekend, both at the plate and in the field, do for this team when he's producing like that? Yeah, it, it changes the dynamic of the lineup because he really can be anywhere in the lineup, but he seems to take comfort in being in that, that leadoff spot uh, or that first spot. As of late, he's kind of adjusted with two strikes. And so now, even if he doesn't do something on the stat sheet that's productive, his at-bats uh, are more competitive. Um, and then in the field, it's something our pitchers want. I mean, Frank is throw strikes, throw strikes, throw strikes. Well, you got to give those guys good feedback. And, um, you know, having a guy like that behind him that can shore up the defense and other guys playing really well defensively too. C. Scott made a non-easy one early there. Um, it, it provides good feedback for the guys, not that they shouldn't take confidence. And like Halvey overcomes a situation where maybe he thinks he's out of an, an inning, it's how you approach it. You get right back up there and you do it again, but it sure is nice when you got someone, you know, doing it all behind you. Tony, yeah, Ensley's been a bit of a developmental guy, a little bit in the program, kind of working his way up. What were your expectations for him this season? I mean, I know you never know which way it's going to go, but what were your thoughts on what he could be going into? Yeah, a good indication was he goes out to Santa Barbara, one of my favorite coaches and, and Coach Pintard, and one of the best programs, probably the nicest, I mean, Santa Barbara, one of the nicest places you can go in the summer to go play, and they always win, and he had a great summer. So it looked like a really good sign uh, for him. And, um, we kind of mixed him around, even first base. We were looking for ways to get him involved in the lineup. Um, so, you know, ultimately it's fair to say he, he forced our hand. And coaches like to say that all the time. I don't make out the lineup, you do. And a lot of that is true. And he's made it an absolute must that he needs to be in the outfield and, of course, on the offensive side as well. And that's my favorite kind of player. I know this portal thing and, and COVID even, they're making all these rosters older. but. A Trey Lipscomb, a Jake Rucker, a Hunter Ensley, um, a guy that maybe gets a little bit of a taste and then more and then more. Um, th those, those are the best guys, uh, or the guys I like being around most. Not that I don't like anybody else. You were, a couple more. You were slow playing some pitchers earlier in the year, but where's a guy like Wyatt Evans? Is there a decision made on him? Yeah, it, it's probably a deal now where he'll redshirt. Um, we've got some lefties that are throwing the ball well for us. And you come into the year with expectations of upping your innings, you know, getting to 20, 30 innings, and that would be a pretty good roll of the dice. I suppose say die or dice. That'd be that'd be like you're in Vegas, you know, trying to win some money. And uh, my money's on him. The next time he suits up and throws for us, because he throws strikes, he's not scared, and he's got really good stuff. But um, you know, he's been sore off and on ever since the summer, and I, and you guys. You guys have been great about coming out and watching and learning about the team. You've seen him throw really well, but there's other times you're not seeing him where it's just not feeling right or he's got to take days off. So just not enough momentum there. And uh, but maybe better safe than sorry there. What about Zach Joyce? Is there an update on him? Yeah, he, um, you know, decent chance, and I'm out of my lane here, but decent chance, kind of some scar tissue. A lot of times when a guy has Tommy John, that can happen uh, where scar tissue forms and then it, you know, breaks apart. Uh, so if that is the case, um, it's probably going to take some time for soreness to go away and all that. And again, I'm out of my lane. I'm speaking for him. Probably a pretty good little scare for him. I mean, it's been an interesting career starting at Farragut and then over at Walters and here and different things happening. Um, so probably a little bit of a mental side, too, of catching his breath and then getting his feet back underneath him. Could you pitch again this season? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, we'll kind of see how that builds up. But. Anything else? Yeah,